Hello, true duelists. YGO Strats here in my work getup because I, I just, just got home and made myself this cup. Not the liquid in it, the cup physically. And I've decided, no, now I must make a video. Forgive my nasaliness, I am recovering from an illness. That being said, something I love more is the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! As it keeps me going and keeps me sane as I slowly succumb to tuberculosis. Metaphorically. It's just a cold, but in my heart it feels like tuberculosis. There's, there's no need to cry about it. Instead, we can cry about the meta. What a segue. Ishizu Tier Limits. Tier Shizu, whatever it is people are calling it, is here! And with a solid 26 out of the top 32 slots at last weekend's YCS Pasadena, it's become pretty clear that the deck to beat is also the only deck to play, because it's another Tier Zero format. Yeah, it's been a fun weekend on Twitter, and as we approach the week, it's been a real blast with things being tossed around like skill intensive and this image, which will not... <laughs> it'll make me laugh until the day I die. This is photoshopped, of course. This is an exaggeration of this image, which is a genuine screenshot of a feature match from YCS Pasadena because I think they're like eight chain links deep in this, sorting out the graveyard effects and what's going on. But man, is it funny to see just everything splayed out like you're explaining your deck post-duel, but no, they're just explaining what's going on in the midst of theirs. Because this is a very complicated format. I think there's no denying that when you're getting to chain link 8 and there's a hard ones per turns and things are getting shuffled in and other things are going to the bottom and and and, there's a lot of things to keep track of. There's at this point, I believe it was in a Team APS Plus video where they even highlighted the fact that the commenters of the YCS were having trouble following exactly what was going on in these duels because there are so many effects activating in the, the same chain link, let alone in the same turn, which it's a bit daunting. It can be a little bit of a repellent to look at that picture and the state of the metagame and be like, well, I am a fan of math mech, what can I do? And as it turns out, you can falsely claim to have got a top by saying you were playing math mech, but actually you were playing tier Shizu. I don't know what that was. At some point in the YCS, there were early reports that there was one math mech in the top 32. Not the case. It was just tier Shizu. Either way, I don't, that, that joke sucked. Moving on past my lightheaded state, I think the real question here is, is a tier zero thing thing? Is a tier zero format inherently bad? Maybe. Feels pretty subjective. I watched Jesse Cotton's second place deck list of his tier Shizu deck, and he stated it pretty well in that it's, you know, it's a love it or hate it, which really, I think when you remove the monetary aspect of it, is pretty fair, because if you want a very skill testing sort of format that tests your knowledge and your plays and like what best to stop the deck and how to best get yours going and work around. Well, they're probably gonna try and stop this, but if I go for that and then they can't stop those and then and 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 you're just playing 16 turns in advance and you're just the world's greatest Peter Baelish from season one Game of Thrones, maybe? I don't know. We're, we're rapidly deteriorating in both mentality and quality here. It can be a very appealing sort of format to those it appeals to. The thing is, it is also incredibly off-putting for the sorts of people that it doesn't appeal to, because some people just prefer variety. I know, speaking personally, with far too many decks, I like to change things up from now and again. I like, more often than not, to have two or three decks that I duel with in just one night of dueling, let alone at every locals and tournament I'll ever attend for the next foreseeable future. So I understand the appeal and desire for some variety in our matches and in our card game. I just don't think it is inherently better by virtue of itself. Did that sentence wrap up properly? I don't think having a lot of decks means that it's good just because there's a lot of decks. A lot of people were talking about how cool the format was, and now a lot of people are also talking about how cool it was to see all the different decks funneling into a scythe lock to prevent you from playing. Is that really more desirable than the current, there's only one deck you're playing anyways? 
Probably not. I think the biggest takeaway from all this is that Yu-Gi-Oh players are impossible to please. Because in that format we were bitching about Scythe and all that, maybe justifiably, and now we've moved on to bitching about Tier Shizu, maybe justifiably. And on top of that, more than anything, we're also just bitching about people bitching. Very justified. At least according to me, who is now making the video and rambling about it. I'm pretty mixed on this, if I'm being real here, because... Well, let's throw a Farfa tweet up about that, that encapsulates my opinion more than anything here, which is... I can respect that it is a very skill-intensive format that is rewarding to people who are good at this game, but I'm gonna be completely blunt, as someone who's mid as fuck at this game, it's pretty off-putting to have to play to the best of my ability with the best deck to really be playing, because oh my god, this deck is obnoxious. It is, more than anything, I think it's the time. It's the amount of time it takes to get through a tier Shizu turn, because there's so much that goes on, and there's so much milling, and especially in a mirror where you're triggering your opponent's cards as well, but even if not, there's just so much that goes on and there's so much playing on each other's turns that it takes a long time to get through the duel. And it's like, bro, I'm just trying to normal summon to get my play going. Can you stop throwing things at your graveyard? It's... I just, I just wish to play. I'm not being negated from playing. I'm instead having my opponent play. It feels... This is maybe the closest to solitaire we've ever truly gotten, wherein it doesn't matter whose turn it is, the tears player keeps touching their graveyard. Is that a good bit? I don't know. Why didn't they take off my headphones before starting this? I don't know. There's also the talk of they need an emergency ban list because it's a tier zero format, which I don't know. I don't think I'd be entirely opposed to it, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm one of those jackasses of the opinion that, yeah, the, the format currently does not appeal to me too much, so I'm going to be playing either alt formats or just other decks and not dealing with locals for the next foreseeable future, in no small part to my oncoming tuberculosis. So ultimately, I don't really care whether or not they do an emergency ban list to hit tiers or the Shizu cards. That's not likely because it's the new product. The biggest thing I think that will push it is not the strength of the deck, but instead the timing and going back to this image, the optics. Because Konami wants people to want to play the game. They want their streams to do well because then there's people interested in the game who will presumably want to purchase either gems on Master Duel or cards and from the shop or wherever to put money into the game. They want people to want to play the game. That is an undeniable truth because it's a product. We're just out here buying. That image there can be very off-putting to a new player. Someone who doesn't know Yu-Gi-Oh is going to see that and be like, I don't know what's going on. And that's... I think a quote from the caster who does know Yu-Gi-Oh and was just confused because this tier Shizu matchup is redonkulous to steal a word from a bygone generation. That's my take ultimately is that if a hit comes it will be because of the timing of it all. The tier Shizu mirror is an insanely long mirror not in terms of the number of turns hilariously to cater to my my Yugi boomers who may be watching who complain that modern Yu-Gi-Oh is over too soon. Uh, modern Yu-Gi-Oh actually can sometimes only go four turns total, but there's approximately 700 more effects than you're used to ever seeing in a duel going on. And that's kind of funny to think about, sometimes fun to watch, but if that's going to be every single stream going forward, especially when you get through more and more rounds and feature matches and just more people playing tier Shizu, certainly by the time you hit your top 64, that's the majority of what's gonna be left. I don't think they're gonna like that. Or if not that, I don't think they're going to like that people don't like that and are less interested in the streams. That's my personal take on it. Much like this metagame is to some of you, I am in a rapid state of deterioration. And you know what? Uh, I, don't, I don't know where we're at in the video at this point, but I do know where I'm at in terms of my mental state which is to say, I need to go lie down. So I'm gonna go do that after I edit this video. Apologies for the rambly tambly wildness. I just, I got, I got the Burke. I got the TB. Is that joke okay? I hope so, I've made it thrice. That's, that's it, that's the video. Uh, here's hoping my smoking Italian wife can have my sinuses cleared. 
for this week's update. And, and I'll see you there, duelists. <laughs> Hello, true duelists. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's a start.